Welcome to Scatcast 53. I'm the script keeper, and this is actually season two now, or year two. It's something two, episode one, and I pushed it fucking hard making skit scats for you this week, so I let Steve go home early for once. So I want to get right to the skit scats, but no matter what you hear come out of my bullfuckery shoot, I want you to know that I'm stupid optimistic about human beings and our, you know, hanging around the earth together thing. Like, ridiculous. I think most of you are good. Not just a little good, but like super fucking good. I think most human beings are super fucking good, and I enjoy this ride, Ron, even when it makes no sense at all. And I'm thankful as fuck to be the script keeper. And to bring you Skitchka. So Scatcast 53 and or Season 2, Episode 1. Go. All right, no Steve today. So patreon.com forward slash scatcast. That's where you can find our litter box. Info at scatcast.com is how you get a hold of us. Our merch store is on our website, scatcast.com. And you can slap our PayPal around if you like. We like it when you do. I feel like Steve should be like, Dom, you're a moron, Zach. I feel good. All right, I got skit scats galore today. I've got five of them. I'm doing an obscure and probably terrible nurse fairy rhyme. Time traveling Jesus as combining Santa Claus and Batman. It's really weird. We got that. See, Steve would be calling me an filthy dirty. Should we miss Steve? I miss Steve. He makes me feel bad, but I miss him. Anyway, after time traveling Jesus, we're gonna go to Marnia, actually I guess Zarnia, and do Liam the Monster Hunter. And then we go to space and we do an episode called Dookie Planet. Last week was Candy Planet, this week's Dookie Planet. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> you know Steve would have said dumb right there. Let's all just say it together. Dumb. Yeah. Then after all the stories, we'll get loud with the inside look of a garage band called the Lilac City Nightmare Band. Steve fucking hates them. But fucking hey, let's get to the skit scats. You don't need to hear from me. Skit scat time, go. Sleep, sleep little baby. Sleep little baby, you sleep. Scatcast is here to harvest your fears and show you the horrors of life. It's Scatcast Nursery Rhymes. <laughs> really fairy tales, but whatever. Well, hey, you little festering butt hairs. Welcome back to another Nurse Fairy Rhyme. And once again, we've delved into the Three Dog Down collection. And these stories go beyond things like Aesop's Fables and Brothers Grimm in the sense that they make even less sense and the morals are even harder to decipher. This one's called The Porcupine, The Turtle, and The Scum. Once upon a time, there was a porcupine. Well, that will be me. And a turtle. I'm the turtle. And also a skunk. Uh, I smell like shit. Uh. And they were the unlikeliest of friends. But they would often be found sharing a pint or two together at the Talking Animal Bar. Cheers to another year of surviving the wolf. The porcupine said, holding up a glass somehow. Why, we were born with superior defenses. The turtle said, tapping his shell. I smell like shit. The skunk said, smell like shit. To our awesomeness. <laughs> that smell you're smelling is me. We know. And as the night went on, they started to become competitive. I have the best defenses of all three of us. The porcupine bragged, standing up and showing his quills. I'm covered in spikes. A wolf wouldn't dare touch me. He said, shaking his spiky booty. Well, that's all well and good. The turtle said, standing up and shaking his booty. But I'm built like a tank. No wolf jaws can penetrate my arm. He said, patting himself on the back as fuck. Hey, armor and spikes are pretty neat, but pretty cumbersome, eh? The skunk said as he stood up and showed off a stink gland. One squirt from this and I can empty this whole bar, eh? Yeah, but you can smell yourself, right? The porcupine asked like a dick. Hey, I like the way I smell. Hey. The skunk retorted. Yeah, there's no way that's fucking true. He's kind of like how you like the smell of your own fart, eh? Hey. The skunk reasoned. You're fucking gross, dude. Yeah, but what wolf would ever want to eat me, eh? Hey? And so the conversation went throughout the night. My quills are like spears that slay wolves. The porcupine said, standing on the table. Whatever. The turtle would have none of that. Out of my way. He said as he too got on the table. Hey, back off. My armor's way better than your spikes. And then the skunk got up on the hey, table. I can make all of you want to throw up. And uh, they puffed their chests and tried to push each other off the table. But at that moment, a wolf walked in. Hello, bitches. The wolf said calmly as the place lost its shit and cleared the fuck out. Except for the porcupine, the turtle, and the skunk. Yeah, I'm also here too, said the bartender who was a horse for some reason. I'm a Glidesdale. Oh yeah, we get it. That Budweiser. Yeah, that's real clever. Yep. Anyway, so the three boastful animals get down from off the table. And the wolf came up to them and said, I'm curious why you three freak shows didn't run like the others. And the three animals looked at each other and laughed. <laughs> My dear wolf, I'm made of spears, as you can see. And I'm a fucking tank. The turtle said, patting his chest. And I smell like shit. Imagine how I would taste it. Eh? The skunk said, flipping his tail a bit. We have the ultimate animal defenses. Yeah, we're tough animals like you. Yeah, you can buy me a drink if you want, Wolfie. <laughs> and the wolf ordered four shots of alcohol that talking animals like. No whiskey? Sure, why not? Now, here you go. And the wolf proposed a toast. To the food chain and your ability to stay on the good side of it, you know? Yeah. And just as the animals went to clink their glasses, the wolf swept the leg <laughs> of the skunk. <laughs> and right in the skunk <laughs> land, temporarily disabling it, then smashed the skunk in the nose, causing it to tear up. And just as a porcupine tried to roll into a ball, the wolf put its paw down on its quillless chest, crushing its ribs, which exposed its belly for a fatal bite. Then the wolf turned and bit the head off the skunk, spitting it out in the direction of the turtle. The turtle was shocked and quickly sucked its body into its shell. But the wolf simply grabbed the turtle shell, lined the turtle's tail hole up with his mouth, and aimed the turtle's head hole towards the sky. Hey, what are you doing? Then with a mighty huff and puff, the entire body of the turtle was shot through the head hole and into the air, and then right into the mouth of the wolf. 
Gotta love hubris. The wolf said as she devoured the bodies of the fallen animals. Sweet. The bartender said, watching the wolf swallow the last of the bodies. Hey, at least I don't have to mop. Then the wolf slugged back all four shots oh. and tossed a coin at him. The skunk was right. He tasted terrible. And the wolf left the bar. And the horse bartender, who was also the owner of the bar, had to close the bar. Because no one ever wanted to come back there because the scary shit that happened that day. And it's all that cunty wolf's fault. And so he became a human wolf hunter's horse. And for years and years, he helped humans hunt the wolves. Until one day, he found the wolf that killed those animals in his bar and forced his bar to close. You. And the wolf and the horse battled. And the oh. horse killed the wolf, but broke his leg Ow. in the process. And that day, he was killed by the humans and later turned to glue. And the man that shot the horse bartender was also shot 12 times for cheating at poker a week later. And this script keeps going. I don't see the point. The end. Well, children, we've listened to a lot of wonderful news fairy rhymes together, haven't we? Mm. Okay. Yeah, this one sure as fuck isn't one of them. Yeah. I, I guess the morals here are don't be boastful because everyone dies. I didn't like this story. It's okay, children. I'm pretty sure Three Dog Down's a cut. See you next time. All right, I don't know what to do without Steve. That was the nurse fairy rhymes. Now let's do time traveling Jesus. Go. Get this right as Jesus Christ is gonna go back in time and fix our plight. It's gonna bring back the beat, the beat. Don't stop beating because it'll bring back the beat, the beat. Don't stop beating because of Jesus Christ is time traveler. Bring back the beat, the beat. Don't stop beating because of Jesus Christ is time traveler. Bring back the beat, the beat. Don't stop beating because of time traveler. Jesus. Time traveler Jesus. Go. This time on Time Traveling Jesus, the savior of mankind and creator of the universe, is busy recruiting superheroes to join his C-Squad. But for some reason, there's some sort of pushback. Now we find Jesus checking out Spider-Man in New York City. Come on, Spidey. No, I don't think so. You can help me fight Satan. I don't really want to. You don't want to help the creator of the universe fight Satan. I'm just going to swing around here. You're still mad about your uncle, aren't you? Look, I'm just not interested. What is your hang-up here? Well, first, how do I know you're the real Jesus? Okay, you want some proof? Okay, boom. Fish sandwich. That's really not all that impressive. Okay, how about this water bottle? Boom. Now it's a wine bottle. No, oh, wait, you're not old enough to drink, are you? Give me that. I, boom. Hey, hey. Well, if you join me, I'll rethink the drinking thing. I want to help, but I just have a multiverse thing going on. Okay, last chance. Your lord, your god, is asking you to help him in a battle between the ultimate good and evil. Oh, thanks. Okay, well, Sorry. I sure hope you're not killed by Venom or Taraxia or Dr. Octopus or mm -hmm. Spider-Woman or Thanos or Kingpin or three other people. Wait, what? Oh, nothing. You're going to die nine times, poophead. Boom. Oh, oh, Jesus. Hey, Santa. No, it's you again. Oh, my me. There's so many broody, angsty males in the comic book world. You killed my parents. I know. And Santa brought you a pony. Everything's uh, fine, right? I'd say Batman's not actually all right, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys working on? Batman's trying to keep Gotham streets mm -hmm. clean and safe. Right. How's that going? There's a lot of fucking criminals out there, Jesus. Oh, for real. Right. Well, I want to ask you guys a favor. Anything, Jesus. Will you guys help me recruit some new members for this? C-Squad, I'm really having a hard time. What do you mean, ho-ho? Santa, Spider-Man has said no. Peter Parker? I don't know, one of them. Ooh. The Flash said no, the Punisher said no. Makes sense. I even went to Atheist. Iron Man said no. I mean, he's launching a whole new line of eye toilets. Will you just please come help me? Ho-ho, Jesus, you know everything. Right, so let's get going. You guys want to take the Batmobile or the Batcopter? Um, neither. Boom. <laughs> oh, that's right, you guys can't breathe underwater. Boom. Oh, Jesus, what are we doing underwater? Batman doesn't like it down here. Just relax, we're in Aquaman's living room. Oh, what are you guys doing here, dudes? Aquaman, it's me, Jesus. Now the guy that condemned my city to be underwater forever. Yeah, dude, what's up? Is that how things are remembered? Batman doesn't like to swim. Oh, is that a fucking shark? Uh, you guys shouldn't be down here. Now, look, Aquaman, I need your help. There's a war on heaven happening. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck am I gonna do about it? What do you mean? Dude, I'm not a valuable superhero. I'm not following. Well, is there a lot of water in heaven? The clouds count as water? No, there's not like a lot of fish guys up there, is there? There's a lot of stupid angels. Dude, I'm a worthless superhero. I can barely do shit. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way, Aquaman. I feel like we all look at Aquaman like he's a bitch. I didn't say it was a bitch, bad bitch. Oh. Oh, now calm down. Well, you guys all calm down. And can I put you in the maybe pile, Aquaman? I guess so. And so Jesus, Batman, and Santa continue to work together to recruit superheroes. Next stop, Superman's house. It's good to see you again, Superman. Superman, happy to see Christ. Now, Superman hasn't been the same since he did that trip around the sun. Oh, he can't keep himself off the naughty list. You two knock it off. Superman, will you join my C-Squad? Superman, no join club no more. It would mean a lot to your creator. Superman, head hurt. Okay, how about this? Boom. What this for? What do you mean, what is it? It's an aspirin. Superman, head hurt. What the fuck is wrong with Superman? I've asked Superman to do a lot. Now, Superman. Me, Superman. I'll tickle your chin and give you a bunch of candy if you join C-Squad. I don't know. Toby the Angel will be there. Superman, think about it. Everybody loves Toby the Angel. I think he's a cunt. Whatever, Batman. Hold on. Boom. Oh, is this heaven? You know it. Oh, Jesus, there you are. Oh, hey, Terry. <laughs> First mammal. Oh, get off me. No, not the face. Not the face. It's okay, First mammal. What is up, Toby the Angel? Just training angels to fight demons, Jesus. I do not tell you enough how much I appreciate you, Toby the Angel. I appreciate you. And you guys know Santa and Batman. Hi, Santa. Hi, Batman. Oh, hi, Terry. <sighs> Write this down, Terry. Writing it down, Jesus. Yea, on this day, the Lord spoketh to Spider-Man, Superman, Aquaman, and Rob Zombie. And I would say they're all on the maybe list. Wait, when did we meet Rob Zombie? Oh, before I got you guys. You should have brought Batman along. Oh, he's busy. He's on tour. I didn't want to bother him with you, D-Bags. Oh, whatever. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. Batman would have liked to hang. Yeah, that's all Rob Zombie wants is a starstruck Batman hanging all over his dingle-dangle-down parts.
Jesus. Next time, bring Batman with you. Whatever, we might get him to join. I don't know. Did you bring me coffee, Jesus? Oh, shucks for me. You know, I forgot, but hey. Boom. Oh, coffee. Oh, can I have some coffee too, Jesus? Oh, yeah, next time I go out, Terry, I'll get you some coffee for sure. Uh, okay. Terry's supposed to be pushing a boulder up a hill. Oh, like Sisyphus? Exactly like Sisyphus. I'm sorry, I don't like shrimp. Yeah, he's basically anti shrimp. No, I'm not anti shrimp. I just don't like the taste. Can you believe he doesn't like shrimp? Batman doesn't like shrimp either. Excuse me? What was that, Batman? Batman doesn't like shrimp. Oh, wow. Terry, are you writing this down? Uh, yeah. And on that day, the tenth day of the new year. New year. The Lord thy meeth Meeth. has been forsakeneth. Forsaken if. By the Gotham Knight. It not if. The Gotham Knight if. They'll edit it later. What's well, a big deal? I don't like shrimp. Shrimp is Jesus Father. That's right, Fermi the first mammal. All of the other animals are secondary to shrimps. What? Why? Have you seen them? They are cool. I'm not tell scrub. Darn poopage. Yeah. All right, who wants to go see Wonder Woman? Oh, shit. Can I brush my teeth first? Will you guys grab me a coffee? Only if you eat the shrimp, Terry. Come on, Jesus. Get it out of my face. Eat the shrimp, Terry. No, I don't want eat it. Eat the shrimp. Don't care with Jesus. Shorts. Join us some other time as the Sea Squad continues in the war on heaven. You summon me, Lord Satan. Oh, yeah, Zazel, hold on. I was just having a conversation with my four horsemen. Yes, Lord. All right, so like I was saying, horsey guys, we're fighting the creator of the universe, so we're pretty fucked. We don't even have the element of surprise since he can tap into what we're thinking right now. But what we do have is a guy on the inside, and he's going to get you four inside the walls of heaven before the battle begins. Yeah. All right, now get those fucking horses out of here. They stink. Zazel. Uh, yes, my lord. Now, what news of the surface world? Uh, Jesus is building an army. Yeah. An army of superheroes. As if the odds aren't already infinitely stacked in his favor. I think he might have got Superman. Fucking Superman? He kicks the shit out of you, demons. Yes, lord. Well, that's not good news. Sorry, my lord. Now, who else has he got? I think Aquaman. Aquaman? What the fuck's Aquaman gonna do? I don't know. I think Jesus might be making fun of me. My lord. Can you imagine if this was all just a cosmic joke? I don't understand. Right. Well, you would if you were smarter. Uh, my bad. Noah says so. It's mine. Uh, okay. Uh, I am so fucked. Sea Squad. The war on heaven. And that series is likely cementing a place in hell for me. And Steve would be like, you filthy, you know, whatever. All right, take a deep breath. Marnia, or Zarnia, go. Fuck, I cannot believe we're still doing this, but we are. And we're still looking for fuck-off rocks with the wizard in the outer lands. It certainly can't get stupider than it was last year, can it? Hold our horn full of mead. Dearest Velveeta, it seems like it's been an eternity since I last held your boobs, but my thoughts are often dwelling upon them. It has been a huge sausage party in Marnia so far. That's the truth. It's getting old to see him, it's a girl. So far, the wizard has found only one of his four necessary fuck-off rocks. We're waiting for him in a temple. What's this one called? Yeah, I think this is the Temple of Clouds. Is that why it's so smoky? No, Liam, that's the Hobbit smoking crack. Well, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Quit hugging the crack. All right, well, what makes this temple the Temple of Clouds? We're not, like, in the clouds. I think wizards are just cunts, Liam. Okay. I mean, end of sentence. What, they just made this temple arbitrarily? No, they built these temples to convince people that they were kick-ass. Right. Hiding the fact that they are indeed not kick-ass. Even the wizard need to talk mm. and fight mm. and fuck or something. Yikes, what's wrong with you? I think I might be getting a crack contact eye from these <laughs> hobbits. <laughs> that shit ain't freezes, uh, you pay up, bitch. Mm. bitch. Dearest Velveeta, fuck hobbits. And at that moment, the wizard Albus and Barfield came sprinting from the innards of the temple. I mean, Barfield was flying, but whatever. Run, you dumb cow! Uh, should we be going? What the hell's going on? Just fucking run! And with something in the darkness quickly closing in on them, Liam, the wizard, and the gang got the fuck out of there. What the fuck was back there? You really, really don't mind now. No. I feel like the reason for asking is that I want to know. It's a horror that mere mortals should never have to see. Seriously. Oh, but Arby's and a pigeon guy can see. Arby's? I mean, Albus is the son of a wizard. I feel like that's pretty obvious. And Barfield is a magic creature now. <laughs> and he was a slayer before before I accidentally turned him into what he is now. <laughs> yeah, see, and he's cool with it now. Oh. Semi-cool with it. Fuck the Laudia. Did you find the rune you needed? No, the temple was empty. Except for the entity that shall not be named. Right, and they were fucking pissed. Serious. <laughs> You're damn right we were lucky, Barfield. <laughs> yeah, well, next time we'll have to bring some you-know-what repellent. Will you stop talking like I'm a baby? I'm right fucking here. I'm trying to keep the hobbits innocent, too. Innocent? They're smoking crack right now. <laughs> What's this? Liam, seriously. It's not for you to know what goes on in the temple of a wizard. Yeah, it's best to be ruled by secrecy, huh? Not now, non-horse. Right, so you didn't find the rune. Now what? We go to the next abandoned wizard temple. I think the closest one is here. Now the lake temple of the water wizard. 
Now, for fuck's sake, how long is this going to take? Well, there are hundreds of temples, and there's no guarantee any of them have a rune in them. Why are all these temples abandoned? Well, they're thousands of years old. We just moved on and built new ones, I guess. All funded by the taxpayer. Shut your wannabe horse mouth. Wasteful and arbitrary. The main reason all these temples are damaged is because of these damn centaurs. Yeah, they kicked you the fuck out of here, and you're just mad. Yeah, look at it now. It smells like free assholes to me. You'll probably be the one to tell on me. Mm. Here's knock it the fuck off. It's really obnoxious. It's really obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to smoke crack back here. Yeah, chill the fuck out. Look, Mrs. Barfield's back. Ariola, get a room. I mean, not my beard, but whatever. I'm working on getting over it. Ah, shit, it's a letter from the damn wizard council. What's it say, father? I can't read it in front of the muggles. That's me, I'm a fucking muggle. Fuck you. Fuck you, I know it seems arbitrary to a nimrod like you. Yeah. But the wizard council is a very intricate governing system that's been around for thousands of years. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's right or good. Shut up, dick. Well, what do you want me to do, wizard? Go smoke crack in the back with the hobbits? Well, actually... Liam was indeed banished to a cloud of crack smoke in the back of the wagon. Yeah, I'm running out of time. It's the wand police, isn't it, Father? They're giving me ten days. Ten days to find three more runes? And at the end of those ten days, they're going to tell the Zarnian authorities. Then we're all fucking dead. A great system you got there, wizard. Shut up, horse. You shouldn't even be listening. What, do you want to banish me to the back of the cart, too? Just pretend you're useful. Yeah, yeah. Just so you guys know, I can hear you back here. Yeah, baby, just sleep. Father, you're not supposed to do that to muggles. What's the point of knowing the spell if I don't use it? You know the answer to that. Yeah, fuck them, Father. If you don't wake them up pretty quick, they're going to have brain damage. I said fuck them. God damn it. Wake it, bake it. Oh, what day is it? Where's the crack? Why is my nose bleeding? Give me the crack. I want the crack. And so Liam and the gang were led by the wizard to the lake temple of the water wizard, okay? And it was a real shithole, but with water everywhere. So that's fucking whatever. So here they are inside the temple. All right, you dumb cunts, stay here. This is a lot of creepy-ass wizard art. Look at how you just pat yourselves on the back throughout all time. Yeah, shut up. You guys be quiet. My father has to focus. Well, before he goes off all focusy. What? Well, look at all these statues. They're not going to, like, come to life or anything, are they? I don't know. I've never been here. Well, don't touch anything. What do you mean you've never been here? Just because I'm a wizard doesn't mean I've been everywhere that wizards have been. There's thousands of wizard temples. All to look like they know what they're doing and jerk each other off. Shut the fuck up, horse, and don't touch anything in here. Yeah, we'll just sit here and hope we're not killed, I guess. Oh, but I'm going to need you to come with me. I'm with you. Here we go. Yeah, don't die or anything. Fuck off, pseudo horse. And then the wizard and his son jumped into a watery hallway and swam into a gauntlet of traps, leaving the rest of them to twiddle their dicks. There we go. I'm so sick of that fucking wizard and his stupid shit. What the fuck do I care if he gets thrown into wizard hell? He does have high quality drugs and he's got good drugs. Whatever. And whatever happened to teaching me how to be a slayer, Barfield? Now's as good a time as any. What do you mean I'm a shitty student? Ooh, snap. Shut up, dick. Fuck, I'll try harder then. Just give me one more chance. Come on. You know my motivation are pure. My intentions with Velveeta's boobies are dirty, but, you know, pure still. Come on, just give me one more chance. We're stuck traveling together anyway. Come on. Yes. I promise you won't regret it. Will you guys shut the fuck up? We're trying to do drugs. This yeah, you're killing the vibe. Whatever. Meanwhile, while the dick twiddlers twiddled their dicks, Whirlin and Alba's bigger staff were busy trying to find the rune of whatever the fuck this place was called again. Lake Consum, I don't know. They're out of the water. Why are you so harsh on Liam, father? Eh, it's a long, stupid story. Just stay focused. Why are you so harsh on me? Stay focused, damn it. God damn it. Right. And they continued forward through the winding corridor until they came across the trap. All right, hold on. This is going to kill us if we don't figure this one out. What are these words on the floor? Have you paid attention to your studies? I thought we were supposed to stay focused. Yeah, yeah, it's old wizard. It says here, only the petulant man will pass. Petulant? You mean penitent? Have you ever met a penitent wizard? Well, how do we act petulant? I do believe we need to run as fast as we can screaming. Are you serious? Probably should serpentine as well. Holy. And so the two men. Magic assholes just sprinted screaming as darts came flying out of the walls after him. It's like Indiana Jones in this bitch. Hope they die. Oh, I think we're, I think we're through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, well, that was the easy part. Now what do we do? You see that fountain right there? That's spouting that black oozy stuff? Yeah, I gotta drink a whole bunch of it. Seriously? Yep. And you wonder why I didn't want to be a wizard? Yeah, what's wrong with you? And now we check back in with Liam and the gang, who are now fighting those statues who came alive. Because who would have thunk it? I told you, fucking goddamn, of course they came alive. <laughs> We don't like hanging out with you. Just, you said well, just... I didn't make the goddamn statues come alive. They just came alive. I don't know how to kill a fucking statue. We probably should have waited outside. This whole story is littered with plot holes. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. Fuck, there's dozens of them. And back to the wizard and his son we go. As the wizard begins to drink the black liquid. Yeah. This isn't water, Father. No, it's whiskey. And you're supposed to drink this entire bird bath full? Basically, it seems like being in a fucking frat. Right, well, I gotta use this little shell to, okay. to yeah. drink. Uh, oh, god damn. This is gonna take for fucking ever. Oh, that's some good shit, though. <laughs> what kind of sadist would have you drink your own body weight in whiskey to get a room? Only a wizard could drink this much alcohol and not die. Oh, my god, this is stupid. You fucking drink up, I guess. Oh. Yeah, just three more gallons to go. <laughs> and now back to Liam the Hobbit's dick, Barfield, and Areola, as they've just defeated the stone statues, only to be attacked. Back by dolphin men. That's fucking dumb. Here we go. 
What the fuck are these fucking things? We're dolphins. What the fuck? Zarnia is fucking stupider than Marnie. Oh shit, watch out for their blowholes. Oh shit. Holy fuck, thank you, my tail. I mean, I know you can't talk, but thank you, tail. Thanks a lot, wizard, you fucking cunt. Oh, 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 Damn, that pigeon's a badass. Yeah, you should see it when your hand drugs it. It's better when your hand drugs it. Shut the fuck up. What do you mean something else is coming? Fucking wizard. And now back to the wizard who's been drinking whiskey and he's fucking shit-faced. But you would be too. So let's see how that's going. Your mother and I used a 69 on the couch till you came along. Yeah, yeah, kids ruin sex lives. I didn't ask to be born, father. Now she's with some stupid muggle. You're almost there, father. You gotta keep drinking. Yeah, give me that. You can do it. You can do it. There's a lot of... Oh, no, no, father, no. Don't throw up because you have to drink every drop. Oh, that's right, I gotta drink my vomit now. Why would you even want your son to be a wizard? Shut up and help me scrape it up. Well, that's nasty as fuck. Now back to Liam and the gang who are fighting ice men. Men made of ice. That's dumb. It's just waves and waves of stupid shit. What the fuck? What do you mean, be stoic? There's ice cunts trying to kill us. How am I supposed to focus on my breathing? Alright. Out through the nose. Out through the mouth. Alright, fuck it. Get out of my own way. What does that mean? Alright, I'm focused on the breathing. <sighs> Fucking here we go. God damn it. I heard the tiger or some shit. Alright. Oh, wait, I'm feeling something. And in Liam's mind, he went the fuck off. Sorry. Son of a bitch. What do you mean my pants fell down? Oh shit. Yikes, dude. Whatever, dick, and that's on you, Tail. And now we go back to find the wizard almost done drinking all that whiskey. And as you can imagine, he's just a little sweetie. I didn't want a single one of you kids. I know, Father. Just a couple more sips. I especially didn't want you. Yeah, I've been feeling that vibe for a while. Or your brother. Well, Derek's doing his own thing. Not Derek. Fuck Derek. What, Whirlin Jr.? Uh, he's a loser, too. I'm talking about. No, 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 no. Fa- oh, shit. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, I think I just want to go to wizard hell. Oh, we're so close, Father. And I don't have any other brothers. Uh, no, no, Father. Father. Wake up, wake up, no. come on. Oh, Liam's not my son. Wait, what? I don't want to drink my own puke. They are almost there. And we go again back to Liam. Fuck. Now, what the fuck are these things? Octaware pusses? <laughs> Octopi guys? That's stupid. Oh, this is stupid. I'm getting tired. Yeah, we're getting tired. Don't you feel like if we just went outside and waited, this probably wouldn't have happened? <laughs> oh, yeah, what if we yeah, just went outside? <laughs> yeah, make your way to the entrance and get the fuck out of here. And that's exactly what they did. And the octopus creatures stayed inside the temple. This story is dumb. <laughs> God damn oh. shit. Oh. Yeah. Uh. We don't want to hang out with you, Snowmo. Yeah, no more. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't even know why you started hanging out with us in the first place. And now we're talking. Hey, fuck you, Santa. Yeah, not horse. Everybody shut up. I'm just glad nothing came after us. Yeah, not to be the bearer of super angry smelling assholes. Oh, fuck. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but I smell super angry assholes. Well, it's got to be safer out here than in there. Actually, you know, I don't know about that. Oh, fuck. What do you smell? Uh, dinosaurs? God damn it. Not dinosaurs again. Yeah, big ones. Lots of them. Seriously? Yeah, and I think they're headed right this way. All right, shit. Back to the temple. No, this yeah, is weird shit in there. We either fight the weird shit in there or the weird shit out here. Oh, seriously, we don't have a chance against dinosaurs. Yeah, I vote back in the temple. Yeah, me too. I don't care what you do, Hobbit. Yeah, let's go hide in a hole and smoke some crack in your cases. Yeah, whatever. Good luck with that. And now back to Albus and the wizard, who's on his last drop of puke and whiskey. <laughs> no. Just hold it down, father. Uh, when I was your age, I used to use magic to make women's dresses mm. invisible. Okay, that's creepy and also a felony. <laughs> boys will be boys. You and Liam are the two most sex-obsessed mother... Wait a minute. Yeah. And at that moment, the magic of the rune kicked in. Oh, no. Oh, yes. oh, wow. That's a lot of electricity with all this water around. Father, are you okay? Don't look at me. Am I going to be okay? This seems super dangerous. Shut the fuck up. Shit, do I have rubber soles on? Fuck. Would that even help? I don't know anything. And with the temple coming down all around them, Liam and the guys who just got back in the temple ran the fuck out again. But what would become of the wizard and his boy? Holy fuck. Wow. Holy fuck. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. These wizard temples are fucking fragile. Oh. Oh, at least those octaware pusses and wear fins or whatever the fuck we were fighting are all dead now. Oh, 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 oh shit, Arby's was in there. Oh. Yeah, fuck the wizard. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, don't forget there's dinosaurs out here. Oh, shit, are they close? Super duper close. Oh, fuck, they sound huge. Super duper huge. Now, we gotta go see if Arby's is still alive. Oh, 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 oh. No, here's my smurf pissing, buddy. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm sorry your home was destroyed, Areola. Oh. Right, well, fuck the wizard. Seriously, we should hide or run. No, Arby's was like my brother. I gotta find him. Oh, 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 oh. No, we're here. 
sailor. I'm a sailor. Arby's, yeah, I fucking made it. We swam to a pool of whiskey, so we're both pretty drunk. I hate the druids. Yeah, he's a real mess. They own all the banks, you know. No, they don't, dickhead. They're dinosaurs. I'm glad you're alive, but we gotta get in the wagon and get the fuck out of here. Where are the hobbits? Oh, they're smoking crack over there in that hollowed out tree trunk. Oh, yeah, hobbits, come on, we gotta go. Hey, give us a minute, we're smoking. Yeah, we're smoking. If you don't come down, you're gonna die. Yeah, fuck them, fuck everybody, let's go. Yep, it's too late. Holy shit. Yeah, at least a couple of us are pretty fucked. Scatter, you cunts. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I miss Steve. I feel like I should call him on the phone or something, but that'd be a dick move. All right, let's just go to space. This is the Adventures of Gunner Halifax, Planet Dookie, or Dookie Planet, whichever one we haven't done before. I don't know. Space Dumb Google. He's Gunner Halifax. He's gone beyond the moon, it's true. He's Gunner Halifax. He's seen the world from a different kind of view from He's you. He's Gunner Halifax. He's seen the pyramids on Mars. He's Gunner Halifax. He's flown his spaceship really far. Captain Smobile Diary. We're on the artificial Apple iMoon. It's like iMoon 97 or something. Yeah, they own a lot of fucking moons. You fucking heard me just start my diary. Sorry, Captain. I think we found our contact. Now, don't you start now, Lieutenant Bemby. I'm trying to do my goddamn diary. Hey, seriously, Captain, that's our fucking what? God damn it. I'm literally walking next to you. I just wish your faces didn't bubble. <laughs> and drip and undulate. I'm going through the pre-molding cycle, Captain. Yeah, for fuck's sake, shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't hiss. What was I telling my damn diary? You were telling it what the fuck we're doing here. What the fuck are we doing here? Well, we're here to sell some counterfeit iWatches to some rogue robots. On an artificial Apple I moon. Yeah, why not? Well, I think there are several reasons why not. Too late now. Here's our toaster. Are you Captain Halifax? I don't know. Are you the extra large Roomba I'm looking for? I am KQNT. K-Cunt? Be nice, Captain. No, that's what his name is. K-Cunt. K-Q-N-T. I am KQNT. Oh, K-Cunt. I think there's a radio station back on Earth called K-Cunt. That's probably why this reference was made. Weird. Do you possess the product we have ordered? I'm not really sure. We tried to break into the crate, but we couldn't get into it, so yeah, probably. Yikes. Here's your crate that we tried to break into. Your credits have been wired to your account. Excellent. And another successfully completed mission. Most our missions end with some dies. Some dies? People always be dying around you. Seriously. They keep throwing the shit wave at old Gunner. Well, we got Dr. Smoky here. He fucking eats people constantly. Hey, only the ones that use Dr. Smokey's beard and ball hair oil. Hey. Fuck, I use that. Hey. I do too. Slav rubs on testicles each and every day. Hey, you could rub it on your sweet ass as well. Hey. Right, well, I do. Bye, robot. I wish to procure your services again. Another job, you say? We should probably walk away, fix our ship. Yeah, quit while we are not having electrocuted testicles. We certainly have had our testicles electrocuted a lot. More time than a slave would like. What's the job, cake hunt? Nice. Deliver ten crates of air fresheners. They say air fresheners? Yeah. I don't like where this is going. To the Dukeum planet, ask the Mafia 6. I don't want to go to a Dukeum planet or an ATM planet. We will pay 15,000 credits. 15,000 oh, yeah. credits? Holy shit. We will bring Febreze. <laughs> Captain, I really don't think I should land on a poop planet. I don't remember asking you can opener. I'm not a can opener, Captain. Oh, that computer's significantly dumber now. Yeah, we turned the personality settings basically off. I'm alive. Yeah, we know, Johnny Five. Computer is right. There's not a lot of places to land in Quadrant Given. Seriously, and I'm already filled up with caramel. Yeah, yeah. I'm already filled with shit, too. Yeah, I might I remind you there are toilets in you. Whatever. We'll find a crunchy, dry, poopy place to land and fucking land. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. <laughs> Right, this is fucking great. That's not ideal. I can still smell Dukium through suit. Oh, that's not good. You should not be able to smell the Dukium through the suit. I smell the Dukium too. Hey, so does Dr. Schmogie. Oh, fuck. God damn it, Dr. Schmogie. But I'm standing next to you in this space suit. You can't even see my face. I just know that fugly face of yours is steaming up that visor. <laughs> this is the place we are supposed to meet the contact. What the fuck? There's almost no life on this planet. Who would want to live on a planet that's surface is made of poop? And it has little farting volcanoes everywhere. <laughs> well, actually... Yeah, yeah, we don't want to hear about how your species uses these planets to, you know, vacation or something. It's actually a very nice climate. Right, well then why are you in a spacesuit? This is Dr. Smoggy's spacesuit. Right. I just like to wear it. Okay. It makes me feel like part of the team, eh? Mm, right, I'm with that fart volcano. Blow it out your ass, Dr. Smoggy. Hey, Dr. Smoggy has multiple asses. Blow it out your least convenient ass. Seriously, these are the coordinates we're supposed to be at. Where's the ass to mouth we're supposed to meet? I don't know. Captain. What oh, is a computer? I'm busy. What's happening again, Captain? This better not be about your ghosts. I'm sick of into the poopies, Captain. No, for fuck's sake, couldn't blast off before you get in there too deep. Yes, Captain. Captain, out. No. I'm not picking up any kind of humanoid life forms. Or as to Maltians, humanoid little babies, boy. Bordak and hell. Please do not elaborate. Well, there's nothing on the scanners. How long are we supposed to fucking wait? I've got nothing. Captain! God damn it, what is it now, computer? I managed to escape the quick poop. Quick poop? It's like quicksand. Okay, good. So what's the problem? There's a whole bunch of giant flies trying to kill me. Giant flies? Shoot them down. Lieutenant Gregerson says we're out of photon torpedo. Then use the flex cannons. There's caramel in there. God damn it, what do you want me to do? Please come shoot them with the starfighter. I'm trying to do business here. Captain, there's seriously nobody here. Hello oh, there. Except for that talking poop. Wait, I thought you said Astomalthians were humanoids. Right, well, Astomalthians aren't the only creatures that live on Astomalthia. Okay. I am a pooper. You're a pooping, huh? Captain, I need you! Yeah, give me a minute, dishwasher. Oh. You're the guy we're looking for, right? Do you have the air freshener? I've got fucking ten credits.
credit's worth. You and your credits. Yeah, great planet you got here. Thank you. We like it. Right, so my spaceship's being attacked by some of your local fauna. Giant poop flies. Yeah, it sounds like giant poop flies. Any advice? You're pretty fucked. Super. Captain, we're going to have to beam up. I don't want to do that. We have to, Captain. Ah, son of a... Dimension beaming, Captain. Fuck you, Toaster. <laughs> oh, these fucking bugs can fly backwards. How's it going out there, Captain? You mean besides being swarmed by giant fucking angry flies? Yeah, we're pretty fucked over here, too. But, well, we're doing our best. Hey, hey. Captain behind us. Oh, shit. Hey. Dr. Schmuggy, why hey. are you in here? What up, your fucking co-pilot, you fuck? You're just a walking nightmare with testicles everywhere. Hey. Captain, we are taking some serious challenge. Hold on. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Goddamn, these fucking bugs. Oh, shit. We're going down, Captain. What, what do you mean? Don't crash my fucking ship. Oh, oh, Shut up, computer. Lieutenant Sites, do not crash my fucking ship. No, sorry, Captain. We're going down. Son of a fish. Hey, shit, Captain. We've been hit. Oh, fuck. We're also crashing. This is your fault. Hey, what the fuck? Your fugly face crashed my Starfighter. Hey. Captain's mobile diary. I've crashed the Starfighter into this godforsaken poop planet. Hey. I'm pretty sure my fucking suit is damaged. Hey, for sure. Yeah, because it smells like the inside of a Gorvax evacuation chamber. Hey, well, you know. I don't want to hear how it's a fucking delicacy to your people or some shit. Hey, just on specific holidays. Whatever. Dr. Schmuggy and I have been cut off from the spade. Communications are down. But I have a little control device embedded in my skin and I can track the ship. How far are we away from them, Captain? We're going to have to fucking camp, that's for sure. Hey, you know you don't need to wear that mask. What do you mean? Hey, we don't need these spacesuits here. Yeah, well, I guess I smell the poop anyway. All right. Oh, that's a gust of hot, hot shit air. Yeah, but we can live, Captain. Yeah, but is it really living? Yeah, we could survive anyway. I don't see any food laying around. Yeah, we could always eat one of my children. That's right, last time you pooped out a kid and we barbecued him. It's always an option. All right, I'll save puking my guts out for later. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the crew's looking for us as we speak. Well, this is fucking great. How are we going to fix the ship? I don't fucking know. I push buttons. Should we be sending search party for captains? I do know the answer to that one. Fuck no. Aye, he wouldn't be looking for us. Although Dr. Schmogie is out there and he gets kind of butt hurt if we lump him in with a captain. This is truth. Dudes. Oh, Lieutenant Gregerson, there you are. What's going on? Right, so the ship was like all fucked up and broken before we crashed? Okay, that sounds accurate. The alignment is off. Oh, but I do think I can get it back in the air. Really? Yeah, but definitely not back into space. Well, that does us no fucking good. We don't want to fly around. We want to get out of here. Yeah, bro, we're fucked. God damn it. I'm picking up some strange life forms. I was pretty sure I died knee deep in the ship, but this is a little on the nose for me. Hey. Ugh. Captain's mobile diary. We've walked a fuckload. Hey. And it's fucking raining diarrhea on us. I'm putting my helmet back on. Hey, no, Captain, you won't be able to see. God damn it. Each step I take is in diarrhea. Hey, you know, dookie planets are a great source of fertilizer. So are dead alien bodies, I imagine. If we keep going through the night, we should reach the ship crash. I fucking need to rest, but I don't know how we're gonna make a shelter out of poop. Yeah, I could make like a little lean to. With what fucking trees? Yeah, we could make like an igloo. Made of poop. A poopaloo? Let's just keep walking. Okay, what am I looking at? Okay, so the photon space quantalizer is all fucked, right? And the quasar quark alternator's kinda screwed too. Oh, that's obvious. That's right there, right? Oh, no, dude, that's my lunchbox. I see. We also probably need a lube oil and filter. I feel like I know what that is. For the monoatomic gold aerosol? Okay, back to not knowing what that is. Dude, to be spaceworthy, we gotta find a repair port. Right, we're on a poop planet. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Alright, well, keep trying to fix stuff, I guess. I'm gonna go jerk off. Okay. Captain's mobile diary. We're finally almost to the ship. Hey, there she is there, Captain. Fuck yes. Home sweet spade. Hey. It's taken 16 hours of trudging through literal shit, but we're here. Wait, Captain, what's that noise? What noise? Captain Luke. Ah, fucking shit monsters. <laughs> Acting Captain Biombi. What is it, Lieutenant Sides you know, The scanners say there is actually a city of shit people. What? You know, there is city of shit, not too far from Sir. A shit city? Yeah. For those like poop people? Yeah. Would they have spaceship parts? I would fucking slav now. Right, well. You know you guys didn't even go out to look for the captain? That's true, computer. Is it because you don't respect him? Oh, God. There's huh? so many. All the so, reasons being. So many reasons not to respect him. Right, well, I'm tracking his little beacon. Wait, he has a beacon? Yeah, and he got really close to me. Wait, he's alive? Yeah, but now he's in that poop city. Oh, good. Then we don't have to go. Oh, yeah. Fucking night. I'm gonna eat some of his burritos. And to fucking do it, Slav. Captain's mobile diary. Dr. Schmogi and I are captives. Hey, what is the it? Fuck, don't look at me. Hey, what you said, my fucking name. Haven't I been tortured enough? <laughs> Dr. Schmogi and I are captive to the poop people. They've been torturing us since dinner time. We connected electrodes to Dr. Schmogi's schmacknar. Then I saw that. They didn't look pleasant. It was not. Well, can't you do some Sith Lord things or eat a guy or do some shit that you've done in the past? Hey, no, Captain. Okay, well, that's fucking dumb. Hey, well, you see, when I go through my molting process, right. Dr. Schmogi loses his appetite uh -huh. and his connection to what you call the Force. So you do have a connection to the Force. Uh, yes, but only for pooping and procreation. Pooping? Eh? You're the worst species in the universe. Uh, yes, well, I think I figured out a way to get out there. Eh? No, really? Yes, but you won't remember it. What? Sleep. Captain Space Diary, we're back in fucking space. Let's not fucking do a poop planet again. Whatever, you guys just hung out on the ship. We had to smell the shit ski too. Whatever, I had to bathe in it. Right. And then I was attacked by shit monsters. Right. And then I have no idea what the fuck happened. Uh, we just slipped away. Yeah, Dr. Schmoggy and I, we broke out. Uh, yeah. How'd you get the replacement parts for the ship? Uh, yeah. Dr. Schmoggy found them. You yeah. just found them on a poop planet. Uh, in the poop city. Eh? What, being slang around? Does it matter how I got them? I mean, I feel like it kind of does. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, it does. And why do I have a robot cock? Go ahead, hello, back.
All right, and that leads us to our final skit scat and our first Steveless show. Is this ever? The scary thing is, is that Tim, the intern, is pushing the buttons right now, so hopefully he doesn't delete all this shit. All right, but I do have one more skit scat, but I'm going to thank everybody now. I'm going to thank my wife, Mrs. Cryptkeeper, the amazing Scratcast staff, Don the Shitbox Wizard in Facebook, in the Shitbox, Chris Brooks, the Discord Dookie Slayer in Discord, along with a lot of other people. But he's the fucking Dookie Slayer. Bodhi Sanyata, the Pigeon Hat fucking trophy guy. We call him Quartermaster. We love him. The Godhead, just a little. And our good buddy, Alan, in the Garbage Disposal. All you people smearing this cat. Thank you to my bosses. You guys have made it so I want to do year number two, and that's what we're doing. I'm fucking pumped. You know, despite society being weird. But I'm optimistic. Let me know how we're doing. Info at scatcast.com. And of course, Patreon. But let's get loud. This is the Lilac City Nightmare Bound, episode five. Four's in that Patreon place. Sorry. Here we go. Oh, wait. There's no intro music. Lilac City Nightmare Bound. All right, go. And now it's time for episode five of the Lilac City Nightmare Bound. And you might be asking yourself, what the fuck happened to episode four? Why, it's at patreon.com forward slash scatcast, my good friend. Oh, fuck that. Now back to the LCNB's rehearsal. Space. Axe blood equals girlfriend's garage. I thought I told you not to use my garage door. Oh god, why'd you give me a goddamn garage door opener? For emergencies, Toby. What's a big fucking deal? My neighborhood ain't the nicest if you didn't notice. Well, I did notice that. Well, you're 20 minutes late, let's go. Right, right. No. Today's gonna be the day. What the they're fuck? Brewster. Oh, I like this song. Shut up, Toby. What the fuck? Give me that. Brewster, stop playing terrible you. music in my house. God damn it. That's one of the greatest songs of all time. She's not your fucking mouth, Toby. And this isn't your house, it's your girlfriend's house. Now, well, she'd be my girlfriend for six months. Whatever, dude. Did you get the beers, Toby? Oh, fuck. I forgot the beers. Dude, that's the only fucking reason I asked you to leave. Well, I got some beef jerky and some trail mix. Dude, get that shit out of my face. Well, what's wrong with our drummer? Well, what is wrong with Bones? Oh, he's fine, dude. Well, I do believe he has a horse tranquilizer dart stuck in his crotch. I'm cool, man. Dude, Bones says he's cool. Well, we're working on a new song today, Bones. You sure you can handle it? Sure, man. Bones, you're wearing your shorts on your head. Dude, I'm good. Check it out. Right. No, no. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. I told you. Okay. Dude, he's fine. No. He's fucking I fine. I, I guess I was wrong. Yep. Yeah. Dude. Bones. 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 Stop. Stop it. Yeah. So before we play the song, dude. Oh, God damn it. This better not be about the lyrics. I'm really disappointed in the lyrics you have me singing. Shut the fuck yeah, up. But it's not about that, dude. Here, let me grab my guitar. Hold on. Hold on. Let me grab it, dude. Shit. Fuck. So you got me chugging like a bu- 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 You got me like chugging like this, dude. That's right. Dude, I gotta be doing that for like a whole song, dude. Most of the song. And what's that riff, dude? It's like. Dude. What's it? What is it? Can you show me on bass, dude? Yeah, it's not the same. Well, am I playing the right notes, dude? Do, 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 do. That's not it. I'm playing with the drums. I know, but it's like... What the hell key are you in? Dude, I'm like a full step down drop D, dude. Shit, what the hell am I doing to? Why don't we just play the song? Whatever, dude. Hey, dude. Bones. Yeah. Yeah, dude, sing that harmony part with me. Yeah, okay. Two, three, four. No. All right, fuck yeah, dude. We got this. Can we just play the damn song? Well, about your lyrics. I don't want to have this conversation. Well, dude, I just noticed some stuff, dude. I noticed that you're saying brutal cool shit. Right. Uh, kind of thrown out in your normal word salad format. Yeah, shut up, Bruce. Yeah, hear me out. Yeah. And then you have me and Bones harmonizing like weak ass shit. The song is meant to compare the dark and the light. The song better not be about fucking space wizards, dude. It's not. Me and Bones work real hard on the chorus. Look, it's basically you know, one of my best songs. Fuck. All right, dude. Whatever. I just don't want to hear you stopping in the middle. All right, well, play that chorus then, dude. That, that second half of the chorus. Oh, you guys, Bones fell over. I'm okay. Uh, it's okay, dude. Let's play it without the drums. All right, whatever. One, two, three, four. All right, so you're doing that, yeah. and I'm doing this. Right. I'm doing weedle doodle. Dude, I don't. Right here? That's wrong. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, wow. Okay, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, stop, 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 stop. All right. Oh, did you hear me doing the weedle doodle? Oh, yeah, dude. Can we just go down and play the song? Are you ready to play, Bones? I think we're going to call this song Eat Your Neighbors. Well, if we went by your dumb lyrics, it'd be Demon Cake Blood Kitty. Yeah, yeah. Don't stop the song in the middle this time. Well, that pisses me off. Yeah. Right when I'm about to weedle doodle, you're like, fuck no. Dude, when something starts to embarrass me, I got to tell you guys right up front. Axe's lyrics are embarrassing. Like, if someone depends to you full underpants, oh. it was cold outside, so you had that Tootsie Roll kind of yeah. dick. That's pretty specific. But all exposed in front of all the girls you've ever liked. Well, that sounds terrible. But that's your lyrics when I have to sing them on stage. Yeah, shut up. Count us off, Bones. Just saying. Do better.
Uh, uh, Alice is having fun. Dude, your lyrics are fucking terrible. Your guitar playing wasn't tight. My guitar playing? Your bass playing sound like shit. Your harmonies were pitchy. What the fuck they were? Bones were our harmonies pitchy. Yeah, dude. What the fuck ever? I, mean, I don't think you guys are enunciating all the words right. Dude, you better fucking... Nope. Listen, in the second verse, when I say destruction, you say bath. Like bath? Yeah, like taking a bath. Bed, bath, and beyond. That's fucking dumb. You have me saying all the stupid shit in this song. Now, you need to enunciate baths. What the fuck? Then after I say pestilence, you say hugs and tugs. I fucking said hugs and tugs. You gotta enunciate. I'm gonna go fucking smoke. And that's this week's inside look at Scatcast Records artist, Lilac City Nightmare Band. That's not for everybody, is it? Nope, that's just abrasive. Even for metalheads, that was probably hard to listen to. But anyway, we're gonna keep doing this shit. See you some fucking other time. Thank you for listening to the Scatcast Network. This is our Scatcast Tuesday podcast, year two, season two, episode one, whatever. Hope you'll check out Dipshit Files tomorrow with Mrs. Scriptkeeper, Dave and Angus Show Thursday, and Jeff Getchell and Shaden Hutchman will be with me again on Friday for the Just a Ride podcast. And then we start it all over again on Mondays with the Inside Scooper. But that's just for Patreon. All right, I'm the Script Keeper. Thank you for putting up with me without the Steve. And as always, I'll talk at you in the future. It'll seem like the present. <laughs> Bing bong. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Skip. This may or may not have been filmed in front of a live studio audience.